Yeah. Yeah, now you have something to show us? Yes. Just come with me. So, Monday, the 20th of June of 2022, we will fly to Anchorage, Alaska. And today we prepare all of the stuff uh, for our project. And uh, yeah, now we are testing the bike. We just left from home and uh, we're on our way to the airport. Uh, I didn't sleep, yeah, I slept a little bit. So yeah, my excitement is probably not very obvious, but I'm excited. We're in Frankfurt, uh, we just landed with the, the first flight and uh, now we have a connecting flight to Anchorage. Very really tired but happy. And, uh, the airplane is really cool. It's my first time in a long fly. So. Yeah, it's like a huge airplane. There's only eight people on it. White, a lot of white. A lot of snow and ice. And maybe a small polar bear in the distance. Yeah, we've arrived at uh, Donovan with our host on a uh, warm shower, which is like a couch surfing version for cyclists, basically. And we're, yeah, we're just unpacking the boxes and we're gonna put the bikes together. He has a really nice workshop here, lots of different bikes. So yeah, so far cycling in Anchorage has been uh, a bit like a bit dangerous at times because we've been cycling on the roads and, and there's a lot of cars and the roads don't really have the infrastructure for bikes. Um, but we've just found like this yeah network of trails that runs next to the sea, and uh, it's really nice cycling here. And our guests from um, where we were staying, he told us. It used to be like these cross-country roads that have been existing for a long time. Um, tomorrow we're gonna head in that direction, north, and uh, start cycling and actually start doing the expedition uh, we've been preparing. <laughs> Siamo pronti per partire. Yeah, we uh, prepared the bikes completely. Um, and yeah, it feels very strange, but we are ready, I think. <laughs> Let's go. but happy. Yeah, we're about 45 kilometers and uh, yeah, it's quite spicy. We arrived from Anchorage today and uh, the street it was really nice, like a bicycle route basically, uh, that uh, Donovan uh, advised to us and it was really, really nice. Um, so otherwise we have to follow the highway, it's not really safe. And uh, now we just stop here in the Mirror Lake. There is a lake there. There are so many people, it's really warm and uh, we are <laughs> really tired in a way. Yeah, I, I had to take a nap because I was literally like having zero energy. <laughs> day one and it's uh, really getting used to the the weight of the bike and uh, yeah. Basically finished our first day of cycling, we were both super tired, uh, we were arriving in the town, village, whatever, of Palmer, um, it's really beautiful, you have the mountains over there, we're gonna be happy to 
put up our tent and relax. How many kilometers we We've did? done probably like 84 kilometers, 85, something like this. Mm -hmm. In a car at the moment it's because for the past days I've been having having a bit of a problem. Life is short, death is sure, sin is the cause, Christ is the cure. Well, we know that now. Okay, I have these carbon fiber foot braces, these things here, and I just had new ones made in Belgium right before we left. But the problem is that they're not fitting; they're a bit too tight because of wearing them over a continued period of time. They make these little wounds become bigger and bigger because of the pressure. So yeah, it's a problem because these carbon fiber, um, these foot braces are what I need to walk with, basically. So now we're on our way to an orthopedic center in Wazilla, which is a 20 minute drive from Palmer. Can we explain um, how, how you walk? So I, I used to be in a wheelchair until 2018 permanently all the time and I could stand a little bit um, but not really well just like for example for doing the dishes or something I could stand a bit but then I started to doing to, to focus again on learning to walk because I felt that I had some strength in my muscles and I had some capabilities of um, of walking again I started to, to do rehabilitation first in Barcelona and then a specialized center and I continued as home as well. Long story short, I learned to walk again with the help of crutches and the help of these foot braces which help to keep my feet in, uh, in a, like a 90 degree angle and prevent my feet from like tilting laterally and thus uh, hurting my feet. So yeah, we just got back from uh, the orthopedic center, really super friendly people. They helped us out uh, for free and they, like what Eric did, the, the man who was working there, is that he put this white patch in front here and he shaved out some of the interior foam in the foot braces. So this should alleviate the pressure uh, on the, the parts where I had the wounds from before. We really want to thank, thank Eric and thank the people of Norton Orthopedics. Uh, for their help, super super friendly, and they uh, have branches all over the United States. So if we have any other problems with them, we can go there as well. And uh, now we're just gonna go back to the place where we're staying, uh, have lunch, and then we're gonna hit the road with our bikes and continue get some miles under our wheels. <laughs> Hey Michiel! Hey! Yeah, I don't know how well you can hear me. There's a lot of sounds from the river. We're in the middle between Palmer and the campsite where we're gonna stay tonight. And it's very beautiful here. We just had a really nice talk with a guy at the cafe. Yeah, he asked to send a postcard when we arrived. He gave like a, a, a card, a business card. It was really sweet. Everybody, welcome to Chickaloon. Um, you know the state recreation site is our home tonight. Uh, we did 47 kilometers, climbed about 500, 500 meters. Uh, we're driving for three hours. We're right next to the King Mountain. It's a good start of the day. <laughs> so yeah, we've been climbing a lot the first two hours of our day. 
527 uh, meters in under two hours. It's good that the, the lady at the campsite earlier gave us uh, some caribou wraps because <laughs> uh, we really need the energy. The woman told us earlier that like the gray sky you see is because of forest fires. So the visibility is not that great. We didn't really expect this, but uh, the weather here has been really good. It's been really sunny every day, which is really, which is actually super nice because we don't have to use our weather gear and can be in the sun all the time. It does get really hot though, because the sun stays so high in the sky all the time, because we're so far up north and there's only like three hours of night basically. But like that, it's really warm. So whenever you're like going uphill, it's really like a very sweaty business. <laughs> this one, it was the first house that they made here uh, close to the Granley Highway. So this is the place where we sleep tonight. I mean, not here inside. This is the, yeah, the entrance. Um, yeah, it's a really beautiful place. And yeah, we want to say really thank you to Evelyn. Evelyn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because just usually we we ask uh, I don't know a uh, little help with the money, and yeah, and uh, her she decided to to um, to give uh, the place for free, and she gave beer. And it's really. It's really beautiful present for this uh, Sunday day. I think that Michiel is enjoying the music he's singing. <laughs> How are you? Fine, you? Good. Welcome to Taslina Airport. So yeah, today Michiel it's going really fast. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired, but I don't want to to tell him if he wants to go, it's better that we go. We already did uh, more than 40 kilometers today, and uh, yeah, it's going good. We've just arrived in Glen Allen, which is a small village, uh, which is basically the last village before Tok, which will be like, it takes four days to reach there. Here's the end of the Glen Highway as well. Um, we're going to go left in the direction of Tok on the Alaskan Highway. Here's Kiara. Besides that, we've had a productive day. We've done 84 kilometers in under five hours. We were lucky the last 20 kilometers were basically downhill. Yeah, good day, good productive day. How are you, Mihia? I'm good, I'm good. It's nice to ride with some other people. <laughs> Did you feel less uh, fast? Less what? Fat. Less fat? Fat, yeah. You're calling me fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to feel less fat, yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's coming uh, thunder. Thunder. Our first rain in Alaska. Uh, we saw like lightning and thunder and all this kind of stuff in the distance. And we're like, oh, let's try to cycle fast and let's try to get ahead of it but obviously it didn't work <laughs> good morning everybody this is uh, the way our tent looks when we are sleeping there are a lot of mosquitoes around us i don't know if you can see it usually camping with other people sometimes they're really generous and they made a homelet, avocado, but also we are making our porridge. <laughs> and also <laughs> the fire know. keeps the mosquitoes away. Yeah. So we're 65 kilometers out of Tok. Uh, we left this morning. We had like one rest day there, which was also kind of a rest a day to take care of some practical things. Every two weeks, there's like a box that's arriving, which has some medical material inside, cathet catheters, some chocolate. <laughs> Some dry food uh, from Belgium. Yeah, Very shout nice. out to the people from the, the Tok Medical Center. Uh, they were really, really friendly, and they um, gave me a lot of catheters <laughs> so we could carry on. Today we're eating 
beef top ramen, beef flavor, no beef in there. We're having a bit of a boring day. It's a lot of up and down. We never have good Wi-Fi, so we cannot download any podcasts or new music. But uh, top ramen beef is gonna make our day better. We're close to the Canadian border. Soon we'll be in Canada. in Canada, in the state or province of Yukon, and yeah. 